The Mets have Jacob DeGrom on the mound tonight. 38 straight starts. DeGrom has allowed three earned runs or less. If he were to allow three earned runs or fewer tonight, he would tie a record that has stood for 108 years. That's how historically good DeGrom has continued to be. He has been magnificent through his first seven starts of this season. Fly ball along the left field line. Long run for Caddy. He'll get there, and he makes the catch for the first down of the night. One two coming and a half swing did he go he went around strike oh, three. Boy, I'm not sure about that. So Suzuki punched out by the first base umpire Hunter Wendelstead and Jake's got his first strike out of the night. Two two coming and he struck him out. Got him with the slider two strikeouts and a one two three opening inning for Jacob DeGrom. Adrian fastball at 92 slider change and curve or cutter and one and five with a three point seven six. ERA. And he misses a wave ball four, and Nimmo's on with a leadoff walk. Right. So Brandon, who was blank last night, gets aboard to start this game. In the air, center field. Ortega back and settles under it. And McNeil pulls one through off the runner, and it hit Nimmo. It was heading for the hole, but it hit Nimmo. And so he's out. McNeil gets credit for a hit, and that's a bad break for the Mets. Because that ball appeared to be headed for right field. And Alonzo launches one deep left field right down the line, headed toward the corner, half back at the wall. And it goes foul. Oh. Just foul. He didn't see it. He's still trotting. He thought he had a home run. He's around second base. But that ball ducked away at the last moment. It was it so high with just a little bit of hook on it. And it ducked outside the foul pole at the very last moment. Yeah, they're sending it to the replay center. Well, we well he's never got his mic to work, but it was a but it was a foul ball. And the three-one to Alonzo is outside ball four, so the Mets have two men on second walk of the inning. And Alonzo just slammed his bat. He's dejected after drawing a walk, and now Alonzo's jawing with Adrian Sampson after Alonzo slammed his bat. Sampson had some words for Pete. Some frustration charged atmosphere here in uh, New York tonight. What's who coming to Volga back and he taps one softly. Samson off the mound should have time. Sidearms and got it there on target. And that gets the Cubs through this bottom of the first. Strange bottom of the first indeed. Ian Happ at the plate, switch hitter batting for the left side. High drive, deep right field. That one is back. That one on its way. Gone! Ian Happ unloads and the Cubs jump out one nothing. Whoa. Home run number 17 and the Cubs lead it a towering fly ball into the second deck over the right field fence. Line drive base hit right field Reyes aboard. And that one's grounded through the hole of base hit. So he threw back to back change ups and half takes that one into left center field. So two aboard and nobody out for Rafael Ortega. The pitch is bunted in front of home plate foul. That might have got his hand too. It yeah, got some bat, but it also got his left hand, which he is shaking violently now. Clearly in some pain. I mean, that pitch, 98 miles an hour. But I don't, I, did it get the bat or did it just get his finger? I think he may have gotten a little of both. He's coming out of the game. Wow. And it takes a key left handed bat out of the lineup for the Cubs. They've got an all right handed bench. And it is going to be Hermosillo to bat here in place of Ortega. So here's a nice assignment. You're going to come off the bench to face DeGrom. No balls and two strikes. Pitch. It's bunted with two strikes. Good bunt too. First base side. McCann bare hands. Throws into the runner. Everybody is safe. How about that? Hermosillo comes off the bench with a two strike count and gets the bunt down and he's safe at first base. Buck's going to say that he was in the line. No, he is inside the line there, Gear. Yes, sir. Did the ball hit him? It did. It did. It hit him in the helmet. Got him on the side of the helmet. He's clearly inside the line. He should be called out. Yes. Absolutely. Can you it is not a challengeable call. Oh. But it is clearly a call that should have been made on the field, and they are not going to call it. Wow. So the Mets get a bad break on a bad call. Now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Bases loaded, no outs. Here's Gomes. 
And Gomes lofts one out to right. Not very deep. McNeil coming toward the line. Reyes without a lot of speed at third. He's going to tag. He's going to try to score. The throw's going to go to third base. Wow. And arriving safely there is Hap. So it's a sacrifice fly for Gomes to drive in a run. And it's 2 nothing Chicago. Interesting choice by Jeff there. First and third one out. Here's Wisdom. And again he squares pushes the ball and Alonzo's going to have to come home with it and McCann can't get the tag down and the run scores wow. and it's three nothing the safety squeeze brings in a run Alonzo had plenty of time had he thrown that ball on the plate but he threw it to the wrong side and by the time McCann got it Hap was across the plate to make it three nothing first pitch coming to David Bodie the pitch Bodie swings. Hits one in the air to deep right center field. Going back, Nimmo at the wall, leaps, and this one is gone. David Bodie with a solo home run to right center field, and the Cubs extend the lead. Four to nothing now over the Mets here in the seventh. That's line to center field, a base hit for Guillermo made a start at the bottom of the eighth. And say a Suzuki turning around and now slowing down. Got it. Well, here in the bottom of the eighth inning, the Cubs go to their bullpen for the left-hander who picked up the save last night, Brandon Hughes. And he gets jammed and rolls one down to Rivas. Running throw to second for one. The relay not nearly in time. Smooth play by Rivas to get the second out. Three six fielder's choice. Just really a good pitch right there from Hughes. Foul tip into the catcher's mitt. Struck him out. 0 oh, 2 coming to McNeil. And he lofts one to shallow left. On comes Hap. He slides and he makes the catch. Hap is a really good left fielder. So one out of the ninth, and now Alonzo, who has walked and otherwise gone 0 for 2. Alonzo drives one deep left center. Forget that. That is way out of here. Up into the second oh deck. Boy. What a monstrous shot by Alonzo. He has played angry for most of the night, and he just took out the anger on the baseball. His 34th home run of the year, and probably the longest one he's hit all season. What a blast. I'll say. Mets first run of the night comes on a very long Alonzo home run. And Escobar pops it up. McKinstry, the shortstop, waits for it. And the Cubs have taken the first two in this series. Alonzo hits a tape measure home run to avoid the shutout. But the Mets get shut out for six innings by Adrian Sampson. The Cubs scratch out three runs against Jacob DeGrom. A couple of home runs and a whole lot of bunting. And the Cubs and the Mets, their second straight loss, 4-1. to one. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.